Hey y'all, Teresina here. Welcome to my world. On today's video, we are going to be talking about an upcoming holiday. I'm so excited. Now it is a, a little about uh, a little bit of a month away, but I'm still excited and no one can take that from me. <laughs> Anywho, we are going to be talking a little bit about the autumn equinox. Uh, now, just a little bit of a disclaimer here. Um, the things that I share with you are things that I have read and that I've had at my disposal, or I hope that's the right term. Anyway, you get the gist. Um, I am working with what I've got and what I've had access to, and I am practicing these things. I am learning these things. So when I share this information, please understand that I am not trying to come from a perspective of that I'm teaching you these things. I'm sharing with you the things that I have learned. I like to say, learn with me, not learn from me. So please just keep that in mind. Um, with that over with, we're gonna talk about the autumn equinox. <laughs> so um, the autumn equinox is uh, one of my favorites because I love autumn and I get super excited when I know that it's coming. Uh, I will swear up and down that I can smell it in the air long before anyone else talks about it. So, uh, anyway, the autumn equinox. Now, the information that I have put down in my book of shadows is not just collections of things I have read online and uh, YouTubers that I have watched, but it also comes from my Wicca Bible. Um, and in this Wicca Bible, when the autumn equinox is discussed, it is called... I don't know if you can see that, but it's called Madron. All right. So, but other people call it Mabon. Um, but that's why if you hear me say Madron, I am doing it because that is what is in my Wicca Bible. Um, but anyway, that out of the way, uh, I was kind of curious why it was called Madron and everybody else on YouTube and, and all the other witchy communities that I uh, have come across say Maybon or just the autumn equinox. Um, I'd never heard of Madron before. So I Googled the word, trying to get a little information about why, because unfortunately um, I have yet to discover the reason why in here. But according to Google, Madron means mother and it is a figure in Welsh tradition known as the mother of the hero Maybon Ep Madron. So that's what I found. If anyone else has any information on this character or why it is called Madron in my Wicca Bible, I would like your opinion, your information. Um, but anyway, moving along. So on the equinox, day and night are in equilibrium. Dark and light, masculine and feminine, inner and outer are all in balance before the night takes over, bringing darkness and the death of winter with it. All things must die before they can be reborn. Uh, it is for this reason that all spiritual uh, ascent requires descent first. Uh, we are a reflection of the universe that surrounds us. What takes place outside of us also takes place within us. All those who long for the light must first face the darkness within themselves. Um, it is on the autumnal equinox that this stage of inner preparation for enlightenment can begin in order to make way for the return of the sun on the winter solstice and its rebirth on the spring vernal equinox. Um, whenever autumn starts coming around in wintertime, my favorite thing to do is snuggle up and read and study. I like to do that anyway, but it just, I don't know, it's, it's an extra vibe that I get from it. It's cozy up time. Uh, Moving on, so Madron, or Mabon, the autumnal equinox. Uh, at the west of the year's compass stands Mabon. Like Ostara, a day when daylight and darkness are of equal length. Unlike Ostara, however, which brings the promise of longer days, the autumn equinox foreshadows the darker days to come. Mabon is the harvest of the fruits of the earth the Earth Mother, who in her aspect as eternal goddess enters the third trimester of her pregnancy. For witches who honor God and goddess, this is the time when the dying sun god begins his journey across the western ocean. 
to sojourn with the eldest aspect of the goddess in the land of the dead at Samhain. Or for those of you who don't know what Samhain is, Halloween. It coincides. Uh, witches can see within the Arthurian legends echoes of the dying god in the fallen King Arthur who is borne westwards toward either the Summerlands or Avalon, the Celtic Otherworld, accompanied by three, sometimes nine, maidens, thought to symbolize the triple goddess. His renewal is seen in the birth of the star child at the winter solstice and his rapid growth to youth, hero, and protector in the next year's cycle. The mystery within. The connection between Avalon, or the Isle of Apples, uh, and Mabon, or Madron, continues with some of the celebrations of Madron today. In our rituals, we slice open apples to reveal the mystery within a five-pointed star, symbolizing all the elements of life combined. If you don't believe me, slice open an apple and look at it. We eat them to remind us that as witches, we walk between worlds, that of the consensual reality and that of the magical other world. At this festival, we stand between the pillars of light and darkness, ready to descend with all those goddesses whose myths are associated with the underworld into the long night of the year. We eat the fruits of liminality and like Inanna, Persephone, Freya, and Ishtar, prepare ourselves for the descent into the deep creative darkness of the six months to follow. Just as seeds germinate in the darkness of the rich earth, we continue to grow by preparing ourselves for stillness in the dark, reaching into the deep places of regeneration within and bringing back the treasures of creativity and spiritual knowledge. Uh, if Yule is the year's midnight, Maybon is its sunset, and in this dusk we carry what we can of the sun's noonday strength at Litha with us into the dark, After Maybon, we continue towards Samhain, and having traveled the sacred wheel of the year, continue the cycle around. There it is. That is what I have written down and have studied about Maybon, the autumn equinox, which is my favorite time of year. So it's my favorite festival, my favorite Sabbath. Um, I hope that it was helpful. I hope that it was inspirational. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Peace out.